Greetings, Daniel Persado for Adobe Photoshop. And today we're going to look at a new feature from the Photoshop release 2015 Creative Cloud Edition. And I'm going to show you Simplify Mesh. And I have my buddy Nikolai here, who is the one of the engineers on 3D at Adobe here on Team Photoshop. And first we're going to look at the amount of triangles, polygons in this figure. And you can do this by going to Window Info Panel, F8 shortcut there and the info panel here you click on the figure the mesh and it will tell you the exact polygons in the scene 592,000 plus in this scene now I'm going to reduce this because it's too much to work with I really don't need that many I'm going to go to the 3d menu simplify the mesh so when you have those times where things are feeling a little bit sluggish maybe your model that you got was too large this is now possible inside Photoshop to reduce the size of that mesh so here we have in the simplified 3D mesh um, dialog a few settings here. You could do all the things you can do outside of it. You can rotate it and move it all around. Perhaps if you zoom in or zoom too far out, whoops, that's not right. We can zoom out very quickly with that button there, resetting everything. Now we also have preview options. You can turn off shadows. You can even show the mesh overlay. In this case, if your mesh looks suddenly dark, you may just need to turn off the mesh overlay. I think we've got this in most cases. We're going to turn this on like this and you'll get an idea that that's a really dense mesh. We turn it off by default. We have a scale, a way to, to see that, you know, maybe this is not the best view when you first launch it. So there you go. You can also preview the simplification process. So if I bring this down a few percentages here, say 50%, it's going to go ahead and start re the reduction process and give you an idea of what it looks like. And there you go. Not a big difference. I mean, at least offhand here, you can look at it. If we look at the triangles here, we can see that the mesh is being reduced. We can put this even further. Let's just go extreme case here. We're going to crush it 90% practically here. And you can see that there's a reduction there. Now, this has gone from 592,000, nearly 600,000 to 70,000. I'm going to go ahead and leave that there at 11%. And you're going to see how nice the results are. And in fact, it will generate the normal maps from the high-res mesh. You can choose 4086, 2048, all these different options depending on your needs. I'm going to go ahead and say bump that baby up to 4096. And we're going to go ahead and say, boom, do it. Are we ready? Here we go. OK. We're going to look at this model. There you go. It's already done. Looks pretty good. And that, my friends, in 3D world of Photoshop is simplify meshes in Photoshop. I hope you found that useful and try it out and give us some feedback. As always, thank you for listening and watching.